Hey guys, welcome back. This is Captain Orlando Muniz with Nomad Fishing, and today I'm bringing you something a little different. Uh, we started our day as we usually do by catching bait, but instead of fishing the edge of the reef, we decided to go a little further offshore and do some deep dropping, actual hand cranking for uh, vermilions and yellow eye snapper. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Most people use an electric reel for this type of fishing, but today we decided to go hand crank and it's a lot more fun. Oh, look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. The most important part of deep drop fishing is having the right conditions. You want to pick a day with a light current and light wind. Uh, days where it's too rough or the current's yeah, screaming too hard, it's very hard to keep your bait near the bottom. Any color yet? I never, I never really caught one here until today. Doing, doing that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. We're not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> Let us know when you see some color, Riley. It looks like we're either bringing up a couple of fish or one larger one. You can see here by the strong head shakes. You got two on there, that's one. Many people think that deep drop fishing is just limited to the Bahamas, but in reality there's decent deep drop fishing in the Keys and all of Southeast Florida. You just have to put in the time and the effort. It may not be as easy as in some places in the Bahamas, but there are definitely fish out there to catch. There it comes. Slow down. Slow down. Big Remy. It's a very good idea to use circle hooks when you're fishing this deep uh, because there's so much line out it's very difficult to set the hook there really is no hook set you basically just come tight on the fish and the circle hooks do a good job with that. Here comes another beautiful vermilion snapper. Still on? Yeah. You're asking or you, you're telling me? I said, is it? Huh? I think uh, so. Is it? You may have gone from two to one. Is it lighter or 
I think you may have started with two and might only have one on now. Yeah, pretty good. Looks like a nice one. You see it? Uh, yeah. I'm just saying. Oh. We were getting bit on every single drop. Looks like we got some nice color in the box. At this point in the day, we had uh, plenty of fish. We were close to our limit, so we decided to catch one or two more before heading back to the edge of the reef and trying our luck there. After a few minutes of soaking some bait, we put this young angler on his first sailfish, this beautiful sailfish, which we caught and released. We also put him on a nice mutton snapper.
After a quick pick, we decided to release this sailfish to fight another day. Awesome. Catch on video.